Our next category is all about identifying that one special, special rock star. Someone who really kicks ass. The categories that are coming up now, and there's only a few left, are some of the heavy categories of the night. I can only hope to ever be in one of them myself. So let's take a look at one of these amazing animations. Founder of the Year, a tech startup founder that has shown notable achievements over the last year in terms of great customer growth, sales, funds raised, uniqueness, the impact of the product or service, and leadership in the ecosystem. Right. And to hand over this award is a very good friend of mine, or at least I think we're friends. I hope he thinks I'm a good friend as well. It's someone who stepped in and helped my own company make it in America. He founded a company called Lemon Squeeze in New York, which helped Nordic startups make the move to the US, and he recently launched a new company as he returned to the Danish shores called Good Monday, which helps businesses manage everything office related. Some say that he's too good looking to be an entrepreneur. I would tend to agree. <laughs> Some say that he should play in a band instead. I beg to differ, because he's an amazing guy. We know him as Mick Stroyberg. Please put your hands together. Thank you. So, founder of the year. Before talking about being a founder, I'd like to uh, address what Kim said in the beginning about that there is no losers. So we have 15 categories, so there must be around 60 losers. And it's okay to be a loser. I think it's a Nordic thing that we don't want any losers. We teach our kids that they can't lose. But being a loser is great because that means you have to achieve more, you have to be better next year, and you have to do better. And I think we're trying to be scared of losing. Losing is great, it's kind of like the motivation, it's the fuel for everything else. I was nominated for Founder of the Year. I didn't even win the, the Danish award, right? And it's okay, I have to win next year. So let's, I think we should look at all the losers in this room because there's more losers than winners and just appreciate that we're all in this room together and next year we're going to win, right? <laughs> Being a founder is special. It's special because you need to be full of energy and you need to lead a team. But it's also heartaching, it's difficult, you're sad, you cry, you laugh, you find energy and you do a lot of different things. And most of all, it's what you do. You want to be uncomfortable so you can move. And some are better than others. And today there's going to be four losers and there's going to be a winner. Thank God, next year those four losers will be even better. Let's look at the finalists. Denmark. Katrine Andersen is from Haderslev in Denmark. Katrine founded Roger after selling her previous company to Cisco. Roger is an app that handles your accounts payable automatically from scanning over approvals to accounting. Finland. Timo Soininen is an entrepreneur based in Helsinki. Timo is the CEO and co-founder of Small Giant Games. He's an experienced international business growth executive and team builder. Iceland. Torbjörg Helga Vikfustotir is an entrepreneur from Iceland. Torbjörg is the founder and CEO of Kara Connect. Kara Connect is a secure telepractice platform for healthcare, education and beyond. Norway. Andreas Sletvold is an entrepreneur from Norway. Andreas is the founder of the climate action platform called Choose. Choose is the platform for climate positive solutions. Sweden. Jan-Erik Solem is an entrepreneur from Malmö. Jan-Erik is the CEO of Mapillary and one of four co-founders. Jan-Erik co-founded Mapillary with the vision of making map data available for everyone. Exciting stuff. He co-founded uh, Mapillary. 
with the vision of making map data available for everyone. Give a big hand out for Jan Erik Solen. Point you. I'm Peter, not Jan Erik, but I'm one of the co founders too. He sent me, and uh, uh, he is really honored if he wins, which he did. Um, and I think I can only uh, concur. He's one of the great uh, founders of Sweden, and he's doing a very, very positive ecosystem impact in, in Malmö and the whole Nordics. I think he's not only involved in Mapillary, but actually spending a lot of his time together with Hampers and others to foster this ecosystem that we are very, very proud to be part of. So let's go cranking. Thanks.